Welcome everyone. Today we are, will be diving into the topic of SUAS loading and performance with a specific focus on load factors and the angle of attack. Our goal is to understand how these factors influence drone performance and how to avoid surpassing the critical angle of attack. By the end of this presentation, you'll be able to understand the impact of load factors on drone performance, learn how to avoid surpassing the critical angle, angle of attack, which can lead to a stall. Load factor is an essential concept in aerodynamics. Its ratio of lift to weight of the aircraft representing the stress placed on the structure during flight. During straight and level flight, the load factor is one, meaning that the lift equals the weight. However, during maneuvers such as a turn, the load factor increases as noted in the figure on the left. In a 60 degree banked turn, the load factor doubles to two Gs. This means that the drone experiences forces equivalent to twice its weight. If you push beyond this limit, such as an 80 degree banked turn, the load factor increases up to six Gs, which significantly increases the risk of structural failure. Load factor increase increases with speed and aggressive maneuver, maneuvers. Low slow speeds, at low slow speeds, the lift barely exceeds the drone's weight, but at high speeds or sudden gusts or controlled inputs can push the load factors beyond the structural limits, affecting both the integrity of the drone and its stall speed. Several factors include the angle of attack, airfoil design, aircraft speed, and weight and maneuvers. The airfoil design, the shape of the wing can impact the critical angle of attack and how prone the aircraft is in, to stalling. For aircraft speed, at lower speeds, the angle of attack needs to be increased to maintain a lift. For weights and maneuvers, heavier loads or sharp turns require a higher angle of attack, bringing the aircraft closer to its critical angle. It's important to understand these factors to prevent stalling during maneuvers or high load conditions. Stalls usually occur during reckless flying or when the critical angle of attack is exceeded. By applying Bernoulli's principle or, and Newton's law helps explain how lift is generated and maintained. Here's a, an example question that you might see on the part 107 knowledge test. What happens to the load factor on an unmanned aircraft when it performs a turn at a 60 degree bank? If we look on the graph on the previous slides, the load factor doubles to two Gs. So the answer is A. Stalling and critical angle 